Steve, disappointing outcome there today, but what's the reaction? Have you had a chance to think about it? Yeah, obviously disappointed with some of the performance and, and ultimately the result, but I think Scarlett's probably, well, not probably, they deserve to win the game. Um, I think they had even more, a couple of more opportunities, but it's something that still pleased in to get to the semi-final, even though we've, we've split it over the line a little bit, but it's something that is um, exciting that we, we're going to Limerick um, to have a semi-final. Looking out there today, we were in front, half an hour gone, when Rhys found himself sent the sin bin, and that ten minutes proved vital. They obviously made us pay for it when we had, when they had the extra man. But we never really looked like clawing it back in the second no, half. No, I, I agree, we didn't look like clawing it back. I think there was some big moments in around that sort of part of the half. I thought we could have managed the game a little bit better when we were 10-3 up. But we, give, we turned over some soft possession, whether it be delivery from a line-out or a, a forced turnover. But it is what it is. Um, it's something I agree with the second half then. Obviously losing bigs early on, you lose a bit of your structure. Um, putting Josh in, getting Spratty on. Um, I think we lacked, we looked a little bit light behind and you know, some firepower, but it, it is what it is. We've got a lot of boys missing, but I think for the majority of the boys barred up, but we just weren't good enough today. And I think what we saw is what we've seen a few times in the last few months with the Scarlets, that give that back line some ball and they can be pretty dangerous when they've got space and time. Yeah, definitely. I think every turnover, um, they looked like causing us problems and we, we didn't help ourselves, but like I said earlier, we, we can dwell on it the long period of time. We'll have, we'll have a look at it, but we, we've... I think you've got to reflect not just on today, even though it's disappointing. There's 22 games um, where we were last year getting a semi. I know we were in an even better position probably four or five weeks ago, but that's what, what happens in sport. You, you get a huge raft of injuries, which we've had probably f throughout the season since about October onwards, but we've managed to see ourselves through. A lot of the young boys have gained experience, and probably out there today you can see we lacked a bit of leadership. To use a, a phrase that I've used in discussion with Alan Wayne Jones at times over the last few weeks, it seems that you're missing the old football in midfield general who could put his foot in the ball, slow everything down when it was getting a bit hectic and crazy and get people back to doing the basics. Yeah, you do. And you, you also, you've got that. You've got, um, you got, like today, you lose Biggs early. You've got Sam Davis. We have not Owen Watkin, Ben John, Beck. He was unavailable. Hanno, um, Hassler, Eli. So there's probably a, a backline and a half there that rotate round. So we're asking a lot of young kids to keep going. and. You, you lose a few physical specimens as well, and then up front, the likes of Lids in around these periods where you could get experience. Dimitri, Mafu, Brian, Sam Pari, um, and obviously the big man, Al. There's a lot of firepower that we've got missing, but ultimately, there's, there's nowhere, no one's going to help us. It's hopefully, we get one or two boys back available for the semi final, and there's learning from these experiences and understanding how painful losing the Scarlets in, in the manner we did. As you've touched on, despite the disappointment today, over the course of the season, we've done enough to finish in the top four. The semi-final coming up seemed to always be Munster. I think that's the fourth time we've been up against them in the semi-finals. Um, but chance to go again at Tomlin Park. Yeah, look, it's going to be a great occasion. Um, obviously, we're going to feel a little bit better than we were today. We've got two weeks prep now to get ready to go out out in Tomlin Park. Um, it's something that we, we're going to have to be definitely be better, but I think we'll be better prepared. Um, hopefully, we'll have, like I say, a little bit more choice in our own selection and then we'll, be, we'll give it a... Well, not a, a good dig, but then it's something that I think I spoke to some of the media earlier in the fact of probably no one apart from ourselves expect us to go out there and perform. And that's perhaps an unfamiliar position for the Ospreys to be particularly this season, but it's nice sometimes to go under the radar perhaps. Yeah, you'd look at it and off the back of the past month, um, five weeks, you wouldn't say that we, we, we're anywhere near the form we, we've been in for, uh, for the majority of the season, but this is sport, you have those splitters and where we are, but we're pretty excited and we'll dust ourselves off. We'll have a couple of days off for the boys now to recover, regenerate, and then we'll get ready to go a couple of weeks after.